Good morning, time for breakfast. We're on Luke chapter 20. And it came to be on one of those days as he was teaching the people in the set apart place and bringing the good news that the chief priests and the scribes together with the elders came up and spoke to him saying, say to us, by what authority are you doing these things? Or who, who is he who gave you this authority? And he answering said to them, I shall ask you one question too. And answering me, the immersion of Yohanan, was it from heaven or from men? And they debated among themselves saying, if we say from heaven, he shall say, then why did you not believe him? But if we say from men, all the people shall stone us, for they are persuaded that Yohanan was a prophet. And they answered that they did not know from where it was. And Yeshua said to them, Neither, I di neither do I say to you what, by what authority I do these. And he began to speak this parable to the people. A certain man planted a vineyard, and leased it to farmers, and went away for a long time. And at harvest time, he sent a servant to the farmers to give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But the farmers beat him and sent him away empty-handed. And again he sent another servant, and they beat him too, and maltreated him and sent him away empty-handed. And again he sent a third, and they wounded him too and cast him out. And the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I shall send my son, the beloved. They might respect him when they see him. But when the farmers saw, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, so that the inheritance becomes ours. And they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then shall the owner of the vineyard do to them? He shall come and destroy those farmers and give the vineyard to others. And having heard, they said, let it not be. But he looked at them and said, What then is this that has been written? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Everyone who falls on that stone shall be broken, but on whatever it falls, he shall be pulverized. And the chief priest and the scribes sought to lay hands on him, in the same hour, but they feared the people, for they knew that he had spoken this parable against them. And keeping a close watch on him, they sent spies who pretended to be righteous to catch him in a word, in order to deliver him to the rule of the authority of the governor. So they asked him, saying, Teacher, we know that you say and teach rightly, and you are not partial to any. But teach the way of Elohim truly. Is it right for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But perceiving their craftiness, he said to them, Why do you try me? Show me a denarius. Whose likeness and inscription does it have? And they answering said, Caesar's. And he said to them, The gift to Caesar what is Caesar's? And to Elohim, what is Elohim's? And they were unable to catch him in a saying in the presence of the people. And marveling at his answer, they were silent. And some of the Sadducees, who deny that there is a resurrection, came to him and asked him, saying, Teacher, Moshe said, Moshe wrote to us that if a man's brother dies, Having a wife and he dies childless, his brother should take his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers, and the wife, and the first took a wife and died childless. <clears throat> and the third, and the second took her as wife and died childless, and the third took her in the same way the seven also, and they left no children and died. 
And last of all, the woman died too. At the resurrection, then, whose wife does she become? For the seven had her as wife. And Yeshua answering said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are counted worthy of attaining that age and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are they given in marriage. For neither is it possible for them to die any more, because they are like messengers and are sons of Elohim, being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moshe showed at the bush when he called Yehovah the Elohim of Abraham and the Elohim of Yitzhak and the Elohim of Yaakob. Now he is not the Elohim of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. And some of the scribes answering said, Teacher, you have spoken well. And they were not bold enough to question him any more. And he said to them, How do they say that the Messiah is the son of David? For David himself said in the book of Tehalim, Jehovah said to my master, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool of your feet. David then calls him master. How is he then his son? And in the hearing of all the people, he said to his taught ones, Beware of the scribes, who like to walk in long robes, and love greeting in the marketplaces, the best seats in the congregations, and the best places at feasts, who devour widows' houses, and for a show make long prayers, they shall receive greater judgment. And looking up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury, and he saw a certain poor widow putting in two, mean, two mites. And he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all, for all these out of their excess have put in offerings for Elohim. But she out of her poverty has put in all that she had to live on. And as some were speaking about the set-apart place, that it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, These that you see, the days that are coming, in which not one stone shall be left upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Teacher, but when shall this be? And what is the sign that this is about to take place? And he said, See that you are not led astray, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am, and the time is near, then do not go after them. But when you hear of fightings and unrest, do not be alarmed, for these have to take place first, but the end is not immediately. Then he said to them, Nation shall rise against nation, and reign against reign. And there shall be great earthquakes in various places, and scarcities of food, and deadly diseases. And there shall be horrors, and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the congregations and prisons being brought before sovereigns and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn out to you for a witness. Hallelujah. Therefore, resolve in your hearts not to be premeditate, to premeditate on what to answer. For I shall give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to refute or resist. And you shall also be betrayed by parents and brothers and relatives and friends. And some of you shall be put to death. And you shall be hated by all because of my name. But not a hair of your head shall be lost at all. Possess your lives by your endurance. And when you see... Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know 
that its lying waste is near. Then let those in Yehuda flee to the mountains, and let those who are in the midst of her go out, and let not those who are in the fields enter her, because these are the days of vengeance, to fill all that have been written. And woe to those who are pregnant, and to those who are nursing children in those days, for there shall be great distress in the earth and wrath upon this people, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into the nations. And Jerusalem shall be trampled underfoot by the nations until the times of the nations are filled. And there shall be signs in the sun and moon and stars and on the earth anxiety of nations in bewilderment, at the roaring of the sea, in agitation, men fainting from fear, and expectation of what is coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then they shall see the son of Adam coming in a cloud with power and much esteem. And when these matters begin to take place, look up, and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. And he spoke a parable to them. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they have already budded, observing it, you shall know for yourselves that summer is now near. So you also, when you see these matters take place, know that the reign of Elohim is near. Truly I say to you, this generation shall by no means pass away till all shall have taken place. The heavens and the earth shall pass away, but my words shall by no means pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down by gluttony and drunkenness and worries of this life, and that day come on you suddenly. For it shall come as a snare on all those dwelling on the face of the earth. Watch then at all times and pray that you would be counted worthy to escape all this about to take place and to stand before the son of Adam. And he was teaching in the set apart place by day, but at night he went out and stayed on the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning, all the people came to him in the set-apart place to hear him.